Hi, this is an introduction to the while loop. Uh, I would like to first compare the while loop to an if statement. In this program, we have, we're declaring a variable a, make it equal to one. And now we're saying if a is less than five, then it will execute the code in the braces, which it will output yes. So since this condition is true, this program will output yes. So if we were to change this instead of an if to while. So the while statement, just like the if statement, is followed by a condition. But unlike the if statement, the code within your braces will execute repeatedly as long as the condition is true. So in this case, the condition is true, and so it's going to output yes. Then it comes up here and tests the condition again, and it'll output yes again. In fact, this would be an infinite loop. If I build and run it, you can see that it will just print yes continuously forever. Well, until I close the program. So that one is an infinite loop. So whenever you do a loop, you need to make sure there's some way for your condition to eventually become false. So for example, what if I increment A right after I see out? So in this case, what happens is A is equal to one. You test the condition is A less than five true. So you execute this code, see out yes, and now we increment A, so it's now two. After you finish executing the code within your braces, it tests the condition again. In this case, A is now two. And you can follow this, this will keep going until A becomes five, and in that case, the condition will be false. So if we run it, this one will output uh, four yeses. It goes one, two, three, four, and then when A gets incremented to five, the condition is false, and then the while loop is finished. Then you'd go to the next line of code after that. Okay, let's see what happens. What if I change this to, let's just output the value of A in an end out. So in this case, instead of printing out four yeses, it's going to print out one, two, three, four. Let's test and run it. It's a little delay. That's the virus check waiting to scan the executable. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's say if I wanted to print out from one to 20. To do that, I would say while A is less than equal to 20. And now it's going to print out the value of A, increment and loop until A goes to 21, where the condition will be false. So here we'll output 1 to 20. Okay, what if we wanted to do it in reverse? In that case, I'm going to start A at 20. And I'm going to decrement A each time. So it'll go 19, 18, 17, so forth. But now I've got to change the qu uh, query, uh, I mean the condition, because the A is counting down. So what I want to say is while A is greater than equal to one. So it will be true until while A is counting down until A gets to one. So let's run and see that one. So now you can see A counting down from 20 all the way down to one. Okay, so let's look at another option. Let's print out the powers of two. In this case, I'm gonna print out the powers of two up until, let's just go to 256. In this case, what I want to do, instead of incrementing or decrementing A, I want to double A, or A is equal to A times 2. So now when we run that, you can see that it prints out the powers of 2 up to 256. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now... Let's look at another way to use a while loop. 
what if we're going to use a while loop to be uh, to have a program that has a menu options that repeats continuously until the user types a key, uh, types an option to exit the program. In that case, I'm going to create a variable called choice, initialize it to zero. And I'm going to say while choice is not equal to four, four will be the menu option to exit the program. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to print out the menu options. I'm going to print out menu option one will be to uh, let's see run open calculator. And then I'll have I'll have option two and option three open notepad. And then I'll have option three, convert miles to kilometers. And then I'm going to also have option four to be to exit program. So it's going to print out this menu of options. And so now, um, tell the user to enter their choice, do my CN into choice, and uh, before I put the these options in here to do things, let's just watch it run just like this. So it's first going to print out my menu of options. If I select one, uh, it's going to print out my menu of options again. Two, print out the menu of options. Three, print out the menu of options. So see, we're in that while loop. We're executing over and over again. But now if I do four, then the condition of my while loop goes to false, and I exit the program. Okay, so that's how we can use that to have a program that executes over and over again uh, until you select the option to exit. And now if I was going to finish that, then I could do stuff like uh, put some if statements after here. If choice is equal to equal to one, if they selected that one, then I could do a system command and open the calculator. Of course, this only works on Windows. And so you can do things like that. Uh, say for option four, if choice is equal equal to four, uh, I'm going to need braces on this one because I'm going to need to ask the user to enter miles. I actually didn't mean four, I meant three. I need to ask the user to enter miles. So on this one, uh, I can declare another variable called miles. Ask the user to enter miles. CN into miles. And now convert to kilometers. Kilometers is equal to, and then I would need to do my conversion. It's approximately 1.6, but you can get a more exact answer from Google times miles. Okay, so once again, using a while loop to do a program that has a menu of options where one of the options is to exit the program. And that's it.